welcome back to JW Kids Online. We are so excited that you've joined us. Now, next week, we are starting a brand new series called Mission Impossible, and it's all about learning how wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, you are on a mission for God. And that's exactly how the missionary Paul went out and lived his life. Now, we're going to learn more about Paul, but before next week, we want to give you guys a little bit of background on who he was. Now, his whole story comes from the Bible in the book of Acts. So you guys can check out more in the book of Acts all about Paul. And Paul, let me tell you, he was a very, very smart dude. All right, he knew all things about the Bible. He read the scriptures, everything. He knew all about God, and he even spoke four different languages. Smart dude right there. And he also loved God because he read all the scriptures. He knew about that. He loved God and knew who he was. But he did not believe that Jesus was the Messiah. So he hated all the people who believed, all the Christians who believed that Jesus was the true Messiah. So what he did is he stoned and killed them or even put them into prison. That's a pretty big deal. Now guys, what's so cool about this though, is that Paul, when he had that hard heart and he was so angry towards all the other Christians and didn't believe that Jesus was the Messiah, God actually gave him a restart. He completely changed his heart into something that was good and he truly, truly believed in all the scriptures and that Jesus is the true Messiah. How cool is that? He got a restart. Now guys, let me tell you, his name before he got a restart, he actually went by the name Saul. But after his little restart that he got from God, he started going by the name Paul. And that means small or humble and he wanted God to look bigger and Paul, he wanted himself to look smaller. Now that's a pretty cool thing. Now, fun fact about Paul, number I don't even know anymore, but Paul wrote, oh my goodness, he wrote 13 books in the Bible. 13 whole books in the Bible. That's a pretty cool thing. Now guys, here's just a few things about Paul, but check out this video to see more about who he was and what his journey was all about. God's story, Paul. So part of God's story is about a man named Paul, and it begins like this. Paul was born in a city called Tarsus. Back then, being born in Tarsus was about as cool as being born in an amusement park. So Paul thought he was cooler than other people, especially the ones who were following Jesus. Paul turned into a real bully. He found ways to get people who were following Jesus thrown in jail, beat up, and even killed. One day, Jesus yelled from the sky, Paul, Paul, why are you acting this way? Then Jesus shined a really bright light, brighter than the sun, right into Paul's eyes. Paul couldn't see anything for three days. Kids, never look straight at the sun. Remember what happened to Paul. After Paul could see again, he decided to listen to God. And not just listen. Paul decided to spend his whole life telling people about God and God's son Jesus. Paul knew if he was going to tell people about God, he better get to know God. Paul found different ways to get to know God. Sometimes he fasted, which is when you skip a meal or many meals, and spend time praying to God instead. Other times, he snuck off alone so he could sit and listen to God. Paul said getting to know God was like training to run a big race. Sometimes training for a race takes work, especially if you want to win, just like it can sometimes take hard work to fast or sit quietly and listen to God. But for Paul, knowing God was way better than winning first place, even if the prize is a million billion dollars. Once Paul knew God, he was so excited that he wanted to tell everyone, even people he didn't know. Paul became a missionary. A missionary is a person who goes to new places and tells people about Jesus. And even while he was doing this, Paul was writing lots and lots of letters telling other people about Jesus. Now sometimes, Paul found out that not everybody wanted to hear about God. But he told them about God anyway, just to make sure everybody had a chance to hear. Have you ever tried talking to somebody when they weren't listening to you? The people started getting really mad at Paul when he talked. They threw rocks at him, beat him up, put him in jail, and even tried to get rid of him completely. Guess what Paul did? He said he'd be happy to go to jail, get beat up, and even die if it means more people know about Jesus. Well, God was with Paul when he was getting beat up and put in jail. One night, God even sent an earthquake to open the doors of the jail so Paul could be free. But instead of escaping, Paul stayed to tell the prison guard about Jesus. Later on, Paul was sent to a bigger city with a bigger jail. To get there, he had to take a boat. 
during hurricane season. One of the storms hit Paul's boat and it got shipwrecked. Sorry. So he had to swim all the way to a nearby island. Picture swimming in the North Pole with penguins. That's how cold Paul was. But as soon as he saw there were people living on the island, what do you think he did? Yep, he taught them about Jesus. Paul never stopped telling people about Jesus and how Jesus loves everyone and wants to help them stop doing wrong things and teach them how to know him. He got put in jail at least four times, was shipwrecked three times, and was even bitten by a poisonous snake. But Paul didn't care what happened. He was so happy knowing God that he just wanted everybody else to know God too. And that's the story of Paul. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Paul was a bully who didn't follow God. God blinded him for three days. Then Paul believed in God, and he spent time getting to know God. He decided to tell everyone about Jesus. He was willing to have rocks thrown at him, go to jail, get beat up, get shipwrecked, or even die as long as he could tell people about God. And that's a part of God's story. Wow, guys, what a story. Paul lived a pretty crazy life, and let me tell you, he could not have done all that he had done without God right by his side. Now, he knew that he needed to share with everybody all about who God was because he knew and trusted that God could change other people's hearts just like Paul had his heart changed by God too. Now, he could not have done all of this on his own. He needed to have a whole lot of faith. That's right, if he didn't have faith, he wouldn't have been able to go out and do all of the things that he did. Now guys, he knew that God was in control, he knew that he could change hearts, and he wanted everybody else to know that they could get new life with the one true king. So he went out and he shared it to everybody, he couldn't keep it inside. So he went out and he shared all about who Jesus was. Now wherever he was at, whatever he was doing, Paul knew that he was on a mission for God. Now guys, that's a whole lot of faith. Now, that goes for us too, guys. Wherever we're at, wherever, whatever we're doing, we are on a mission for God. And to do that, we need to have faith. So guys, let's take a moment and let's pray and ask God to have the kind of faith that Paul had. Oh, Lord God, we are just so excited that you have called us to live out like Paul did. Lord God, that you have called us to be missionaries, whether we're at home, whether at our neighbor's house, whether we're at school, God, it doesn't matter. Help us to have that kind of faith like Paul did, to be able to go out and share where there's no fear, that we would get so excited to share with people all about who you are and what you've done. God, we just thank you and we love you so much. And in Jesus' name, we all said, amen. Now guys, don't worry, I did not forget about your challenge. And as always, head on over to the JW Kids webpage and print off your devotional, all right? Those are some super cool, fun ways that you guys can dig deep in the Bible. And if you want to continue to learn more about Paul, we have another really great resource for you guys on the Jacob's Well webpage, and it's called Right Now Media. It is an amazing resource for you guys to check out. So go on there, watch a video. It's from the series What's in the Bible on volume 11. And not only that, we guys want to challenge you to go out this week and do whatever you can to go out and share about who Jesus is. Wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, because you are on a mission for God. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today on JW Kids Online. Hope to see you next time. Have a great week.